Alright guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. So today's tutorial, we are back in Lightroom again. And we're going to be going over a slightly less known feature about Lightroom. So I am in Adobe Lightroom CC, and I'm in the classic CC. So let's say you get to the point where you've got your image pretty much processed the, the way you like it, you're happy with how it looks, and maybe you want to throw some style in there. Well. Adobe has some, some built-in color profiles that make it really easy to add some style or some customization. So in the develop panel, in the main, in the basic treatment area, right here you have your color profile. You can process in color or monochrome, or you can click on this little icon here and this will take you to the profile browser. Now, Adobe has built in several different color profiles that you can play with, already preloaded into Lightroom. And you can apply these to your image and apply them to varying degrees. So I'm just going to quickly scrub through. They have the section artistic color profiles, which are very hyper stylized colorations. After that, you have a set of black and white profiles. I'm not going to go through every single color profile, but the, between the artistic, black and white, modern and vintage, there are 45 color profiles you can play with. If you want a modern look, there are 10 different color profiles available here. 17 black and white, 8 artistic, and 10 in the vintage section. Now personally, the vintage ones are my favorite, but realistically, once you find a color profile that you like, even if it seems a little bit too intense right off the bat, you can tone it down. So the default intensity for when you select a profile is 100, and in the slider you can adjust it down to 0 or up to 200 as far as how much it affects your image. I'm going to use Vintage 4, I like that. And when you close the profile browser, You'll notice that back in our basic controls panel, we now have the color profile with the slider. And we can adjust how much it affects the image. And if you don't really like that, then you can go select another one. You can either click on the profile drop down and hit browse, or you can click on the grid icon again and select a new profile. Well, that is about it for color profiles. It's a very simple tool. Right now there is not a way to add more color profiles or to create your own, but you can select from the ones that are available, add them to your image, and then adjust the intensity for how much they affect the overall look. If you get a chance to play with these, and you find any particular ones that you like, make sure to comment below with a link to your work because I would love to see how you put these in action. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.